tonight. Thank you for supporting us through everything. The real MVPs are the ones sitting right here in these seats. It's because of you that we made it. Now, I obviously don't know everyone's story about how they feel about middle school, but hopefully my story is enough. I'll admit, the first day of seventh grade, I was a nervous wreck. What if I forget my locker com? What if I'm late to every single class? What if all my teachers hate me? What if, what if, what if? But what if I love it? What if it's amazing? All I could think about was how badly that day could all go wrong. But as I started meeting my teachers, switching classes, and just going on with my day, I realized that what I was fearing was so, so far from the truth. From day one, these teachers have wanted nothing but the best for us. And they've taught us so much, not only academically, but also so many things that they don't print in the school textbooks. For example, since elementary, we were taught that gym class was to teach you to be active and healthy. And while well, yes, I'll admit, it does teach us that there are more ways to exercise than just running and lifting weights but it also teaches us so much more than I think any of us have ever realized. I mean, let's be honest. No one really believes Mr. Bryant when every year he tries to, he tries to convince us that Bocker ball is a real sport. But in playing these out of the box games, we learn <coughs> just how important it is to work together. And it's not only in gym class. Some of my fellow classmates really learned how to work together when we did our animal projects a few weeks ago for science, or from being in choir or band. I know for a fact that if not everyone is trying their hardest to make the choir better, it shows. As we learned to work together and complete what needs to be completed, we became not only a better choir, but also a better team. In seventh grade, I signed up for my first track season. I was still in shape from basketball, so how bad could it really be? Don't you just run? And I can confirm that while yes, there was a lot of running, but there was also so many friendships being made. And just from being in track, I was able to become closer with who is now one of my favorite teachers. This year, Mrs. Strangfeld has shown me that teachers can be more than just teachers. They can be there for us in many different ways that we may not have even thought possible. In English this past fall, we were given the opportunity to try to make change through a letter. This letter would be sent to whoever we thought would help, best us, help us best make this change. It could be something big that would get sent to our governor or president, or it could be on a smaller scale, like for example, our school. I took this as an opportunity to spread awareness of mental health and the importance of educating our youth on this topic. I know this is a topic that gets thrown into the bus <coughs> quite often. A lot of people may even feel afraid to talk about this, even if it is with a friend, but that's even more reason to educate our youth. I could go on and on on the importance of teaching children about mentally taking care of themselves. But what I really wanna tell all of you, you won't find in that letter. Because it's about more than just speaking up for what's in our heads. It's about speaking out for what we believe in. It's about not letting someone walk all over you, especially when you know and are willing to fight for what you believe in. While writing this letter, I realized it's our generation that is going to be making changes for future generations. We are so lucky to have teachers like Mrs. Art and Mrs. Neville to not only teach us how we can make a change, but to inspire us to actually make that change. Again, thank you for everyone who was able to come tonight. Thank you for inspiring my class, pushing us in the right direction, and helping to build a strong foundation for a future of hope and discovery. Thank you to the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and everything in between. Thank you for supporting us and helping us get the chance to sit right here in these very seats. We are going to be in high school next year. Thank you to all for getting us to this point. And to my classmates, promise me that you'll never stop trying to change the world.